All right, welcome to this week's episode of the Storied Coaching Podcast, everyone. This week, we're going to be talking about filling your tank on purpose. And this is a bit different than filling your tank whenever you happen to realize you should probably check and see if you're anywhere near empty. Now, I'm not talking about your actual gas tank, but you can think of it that way. Now, let's think if you were a passenger and you were riding with someone and you were going along and you were talking and all of a sudden the car sputtered and stopped. And then the person that was driving the car said, oh, my gosh, look at that. Uh, it looks like I'm out of gas. You might question them of like, well, didn't you know you were low on gas? And if that person turned to you and said, like, ah, oh, you know what? I never really use the gas gauge. I don't check. Um, and then if I run out of gas, whenever I run out of gas, I just have to walk somewhere with a gas can and it takes a long time and it's kind of inconvenient. And then I have to get back to the car and fill it up. And then I have to try and find a gas station then and I fill it up again. But then, you know, I just don't look at it again until I run out of gas again. You'd probably look at them like they were a little bit crazy and maybe question yourself as far as do I still want to hang out with this friend or at least drive anywhere with them, <laughs> right? Now, this sounds silly, right? None of us drive our cars never looking at the gas gauge. And then when it come, runs out of gas, you know, finally we decide to address the problem. But we do that as business owners and as entrepreneurs all the time. We keep going. We keep revving. We keep trying to add more value to our teams and to our customers and try to balance our family life and hanging out with friends and all this stuff until we get to, you guessed it, burnout, right? And that's exactly the same thing as never looking at your gas tank gauge. But we do it all the time because we think as entrepreneurs and as business leaders and business owners that we should just keep going and going and going and going. And this is very symptomatic or systemic, I should say, in Western culture in particular, especially in the tech industry. And like I said, with entrepreneurs kind of across the board, we love getting things done. We love coming up with new ideas and doing things. But if we get to the point where we're constantly, unfortunately, and for some reason, we haven't been keeping track of when we're hitting empty, it's already a problem. Now we have to figure out where the next gas station is and fill back up. And now it might be the worst time to fill up. But we didn't plan for it. So now it has to happen. So how can you plan for it proactively so that you're not constantly running up against a red line of burnout where you can find out when your tank is maybe half gone and maybe intentionally take the time to fill back up? In fact, I'm going to suggest that you do something that I have started doing in the last several years that has really been helpful to me, and that is filling up your tank on purpose and with intention on a yearly schedule. Now, you don't have to start January 1st, but a lot of you like going by a yearly calendar. I do as well. So that might be where you start, but that doesn't mean that you can't start doing this from now. From now through December or through next year exactly at this time, you can start to take a look at it. Now, the cool thing about this is if you're doing it right, it's fun and you will be planning on activities that fill your tank and make you a better leader, a better entrepreneur, a better partner, a better husband, a better parent, a better friend, and also things that are going to help you grow your business if you plan them intentionally and you can actually look forward to them instead of hitting that empty tank and then going, oh crap, what do I do now? I'm already feeling bad. I already don't have gas and it could be the worst time for your business or your personal life to be running into that problem. So here's what I do. It's super, super simple. When you hear me say this, you're going to be like, Aaron, that sounds really easy. Now, the hard part will be sticking to it because of the fact that some things are going to come up for you more than likely when you start doing this at first. And we'll talk about those in a moment. But here's how I do it. I open up my calendar. Like I said, I like to do things on the calendar year. So I will start planning for this stuff probably in December. But I also am, am on my radar. I'm open to finding things that will fill up my tank that I want to intentionally plan for much earlier a lot of times, especially if I hear for, about it through a friend or through an associate or another business leader that something that they went and did and really helped them with their skill set or filling their tank. I might go ahead and crib that down that, oh, that's something I want to look out for and maybe plan for next year. 
So here's how I do it. For myself, I like to go and do an activity that fills up my tank in some way every four months. So a calendar year of 12 months, I'm going three times a year. Some of you might want to go more than that. Awesome. Maybe you want to go quarterly, go four times a year to an event that helps fill your tank for your business, for your personal life, or for other things that help you be a better leader. For me, like I said, three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my calendar and I'm going to find three different types of events that fill my tank with different kinds of fuel. Because when I have all these different three types of fuel for me mixed together, I run much, much better. And you might need to find your own mix in here, but here's the example of what I use. So what I do is I find one event that helps me grow personally. Nothing to do with business, in my case, with business, entrepreneurs, or coaching. Has zero to do with those things. It helps me with something personal. I might want to learn how to play the guitar. I might want to learn how to finally take some surf lessons and go to a surf camp for a, a, a week and then get up on the surfboard for the first time and feel really good about that. It could be anything that doesn't have to do with personal. Oh, uh, well, actually, it is personal. It doesn't have anything to do with business or coaching. It, it needs to be personal for this category. Now, you might start to think, okay, well, that I go on a family vacation. I'll, I'll use that for that. I want you to be selfish. I want this personal activity to be just you. In the best way, in the best way possible, I want you to start thinking about the word selfish in the best light possible. Because if you fill up your own tank first, or if I use another, another picture in your brain, how about we use those oxygen masks that fall from the ceiling? You know, they give you that card in the airplane and it says, hey, put on your own mask first, then you'll have enough oxygen to help other people. Same concept here. I need you to selfishly be filling up your personal tank so that you can be a better father, a better mother, a better partner, a better parent. So I want it to be a solo adventure, if at all possible. So one event that helps me grow personally, and I, I put that on the calendar, I pay for it in advance if I can, and it's there. And I have it on my calendar, it's blocked out, nothing can be planned over it. The second type of event, I told you I have three, the second one is an event that helps me lead my business better. An event that helps me lead my business better. So my criteria for this is it's revenue generating ideas, It'll help me with new ideas, revenue, uh, revenue generating ideas, and exposure to other perspectives on and about leadership. Those are mine. So this one is specifically, we had the personal one. Now this one is the kind of fuel that I'm going to mix in there that helps me lead my business better in some way. I usually focus on revenue generating activities because that will help me to make sure I can pay all of my vendors, all of my employees, and grow the business and serve my customers. Now, the third type of event is an event that helps me lead, uh, helps me coach better, specifically in a leadership position. So for me, coaching is obviously very, very important. So I want to go and do some sort of training, some sort of deep dive into a coaching type event that will help me be a better coach in a different area or augment an area I already coach in, but help me be that much better for when I'm working with my customers and I'm working with my clients. So those are my three that go on my calendar. I have at least those three every year. And selfishly, I treat them as not as vacations. So some of you right now are like, oh, Aaron, I can't do that. I can't go on vacation and have three events like this. You totally can. Did you know you can? You can just decide to and you can. Even if you are in a corporate space and you are snapping to some sort of calendar that way, you can plan for what they call a lot of times continuing education or self-enrichment. There are even a lot of times at corporate structures, there is actually time allowed or money available to pay for continuing education. A lot of times I know they do this at Microsoft and at SAP and other places as well. So you might not be taking advantage of something and they might actually help you pay for it. So it's worth investigating. But if you're an entrepreneur or own your own business, this is a must. It's not a nice to have. It's not something you should feel guilty about as well. So if you're a parent, I know a lot of times this happened to me at first as well. You might think, well, I can't leave three times and then and not bring my family or my spouse. 
And you need to have this conversation with them. If you really want to grow your business and they want you to have more revenue generating activities, they want you to grow as a partner and as an individual, they want you to become, in my case, a better coach, but whatever that other thing might be for you, then this is a conversation you need to have with them proactively and let them know, hey, I need to do this. How can we make this work out so that I'm evolving? I'm becoming a better version of myself. I'm becoming the hero in my story that serves you better and serves our family better and serves the business better and plan for it. And on top of that, you're still going to plan for your family vacations and maybe even your partner vacations. This does not act as a substitute, however. So I really want to drive that point home. This is not a substitute. You're going to do this instead of a vacation. Different, different activities for filling your tank. Vacations, pure enjoyment vacations that are just about relaxing are also an important part of having fuel in your tank. But that's not what we're talking about in this instance. In this instance, we're talking about filling your tank with things that could be considered continuing education so that you are becoming a better individual, you're becoming a better business leader, and you're improving your skill set in some way. So my challenge to you this week, because I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go to a coaching event in Austin this week, where I'll be surrounded by lots of other amazing coaches, and I will be working on my coaching business. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I have zero guilt feelings about it because I planned for it. My partner was included on that. And she knows it's gonna help me grow my business and help me serve my clients, which in the end helps everyone. So as I'm going to do that, the challenge I'll put out to you is look at your calendar and start thinking about some of those things you wanted to learn about that will fill your tank, both personally and professionally, so that you can serve yourself and your clients at a higher level. All right, my friends, I will talk to you next week. Until then, open those calendars and start intentionally finding ways to fill your tank on purpose. Bye for now.